Hello and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. My name is Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Today we start off a brand new set of reviews with this Marvel Legends Black Panther Okoye Builder Figure Wave. In front of me we have the first figure in this wave which is Black Panther himself. So very excited to open him up and have a look at the figure. I just want to say real quick that this is the first official wave of 2018. I do own a calendar. I am aware that it is still 2017 but it is Hasbro's intent that this is the first wave of 2018. So please no one have him on your top 10 Marvel Legends of 2017. That's a bugbear of mine. Nevertheless, have a quick look at the box and we'll open them up. So yeah, in the box we see he has interchangeable hands and an interchangeable head. He also comes with the headpiece for the Okoye Builder figure. Uh, on the side, as always, picture of Black Panther. On the back, we get a list of all the figures. In this wave, we need to complete the Okoye Builder figure. Today, we're reviewing Black Panther. And as you can see, you only need to actually get five figures in this wave to complete the Builder figure. So yeah, without further ado, people, let's uh, open them up and see what it's like out of the box. Pow, and here he is out of the box. And straight away, just having this figure in my hand for a couple of minutes, it is already my favorite Black Panther figure in my collection. Yes, it's an MCU figure, but nevertheless, just the sculpt, the detail, the articulation is levels above the previous Black Panther we got uh, in the Civil War wave. So yeah, very, very happy to have this guy. He comes with some interchangeable hands, which are just fists. Um, so I shouldn't really have to explain it to you. I'll probably swap them out as I do with the review. But yeah, the last one didn't. So it's good that we can get him some punches and bad guys in some poses. So yeah, nice touch for Hasbro. He also comes with two interchangeable heads, but one is for the Builder figure. So let's quickly show you the Builder figure head. Now this is the Builder figure head, if it will focus, for Akoye. So I very much look forward to building the um, Builder figure for her. Love extra movie figures, especially figures that I didn't expect to get and I do think it resembles the actor very well. But make sure you subscribe to the channel as I always review the Builder figure last. So yep, I will get around to reviewing Okoye eventually. We also have the unmasked head for Black Panther, which is King T'Challa himself. And I like the head. It's definitely more realistic than the previous one we got as they are using this new 3D printing technology but it looks nothing like Chadwick Boseman in my opinion. A lot of people are saying the skin tone's all wrong um, but nevertheless regardless of the skin tone it doesn't really look like Chadwick Boseman so um, yeah still a decent unmasked Marvel Legends head though compared to some of the plastic ones that we get um, in the past so yeah I will show you that on the figure of course as well but before we get into that let's have a quick look at this guy as I said, the articulation is really good and the sculpting is all around the body. Hasbro have already said that this is a brand new sculpt, no reuse pieces, and all of these designs are sculpted on and you can actually feel them um, in the mold. Uh, I like the little silver highlights, not many, it's very subtle, but just enough. Um, classic Black Panther design. And yeah, looking very good. And we've only obviously seen the trailer for the movie, very much looking forward to the movie now. Uh, was already anyway but when you get the figures you just want to see them come to life on the screen that little bit more clawed hands i just love the fact that on this figure you can put his hands all the way to the side and get him in a natural pose i know that's probably not how i'll pose him but the old figure was so frustrating that he'd always constantly stand like that so yeah straight away like that you can do that he's got like these butterfly joints similar to the spider-man 2099 but not the same but i see where they're going with that um, and you can get this guy into some crazy poses. Again, you all know I'm not the guy to go to for posing. Go and check out Borg ACBA if you want to do some, or, or Shardenhus Prime if you want that. I'm just going to ramble about the figures and yeah, really, really like this guy. So there's just a closer look of the figure with obviously the unmasked head on. This is how I usually pose my guy on the shelf, just holding his helmet. Um, but yeah, looking very, very good. Really like this figure. Um, so let's get into some comparisons as I'm not going to do a who is he segment for movie figures But um, yeah, really really liking this one just as a quick comparison Here he is compared to the Marvel Legends Black Panther from the 2016 Civil War Giant Man wave and as you can see Massive massive improvement just the way they're standing this guy looks much more natural uh, than this guy the proportions on this one is a little bit wrong is a little bit top heavy 
And yeah, this one had great sculpting and it was good for it of its time, even though it was only two years ago, but they've really upped their game of movie figures just in regards to like the 3D head scanning and the face printing. It just looks like a much more realistic character to have on your shelf. And so I'm very, very happy to replace this guy with this guy. Yes, you can swap the heads if you wanted to, but this one wins hand down every time. Here he is compared to some other movie figures. We have Captain America, Little Ant-Man, and then also Peter Quill, AKA Star-Lord. And again, he just stands out. He looks really, really good. Here he is compared to two of the Defenders. As I've recently reviewed this box set, we have Daredevil, Luke Cage. Again, looks really, really good. Just for fun, here he is on a Black Panther throne that I made. Again, I'm not an expert at making these things and I need to do a little bit of weathering, but that is the template of a Black Panther throne as I'm hoping I can do a nice display on the shelf with these new movie figures from the Black Panther film. And yeah, he sits in it perfectly. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in one of these or seeing a video of how to make these, then um, let me know as I may start doing Dio builds on my channel. But again, I'm no expert. I just do it for a bit of fun. But as you can see, it's looking good. So final thoughts are I really like this figure. I think it's gonna be very sought after when the movie comes out because hopefully if the movie's as good as it's rumored to be, then everyone's gonna want this character on their shelf. I really like the unmasked head, even though it doesn't really look like Chadwick Boseman, I do think it still looks good on the figure. And yeah, looking forward to opening the rest of the figures in this wave. So make sure you subscribe to the channel as I will be reviewing all the figures and then obviously ending on a Koye the Builder figure. But until then, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I shall see you on the next one.